Hey there folks, Brody Dorland here with a quick video to show you how you can create content templates in Divi HQ. With the help of Divi's duplicate function, which acts like hitting save as on a Word doc, individual content items can be created and templatized and then duplicated to save you from having to create new projects from scratch every time. For example, let's say that my team regularly produces case studies and we have a consistent process and format for producing them. Instead of creating a new content item from scratch for each case study, I've set up a single content item and input several elements that are consistent for each case study. I've added a title with a naming convention so I know this is a template. I've set up a unique workflow that we follow for production. I've tagged the template with content strategy metadata that will be the same for each case study. We've even created a guide in Divi's content editor complete with interview questions and an outline. Alternatively, we could attach a template that could be downloaded and used if preferred. So this templatized content item has everything we need for new case study projects, and I can duplicate it by clicking the duplicate icon anytime I need to create a new one. Now, let me point out one more important thing before I demo the duplication process. Note that I've set this template status to parking lot. This means that this template will be stored in your Divi parking lot, which is part of the ideas interface. So when it comes time to create a new case study, I can either open the ideas interface and find this content item template, or I can access my parked ideas from the calendar, which I'll show you now to demonstrate the entire process. Okay, let's say we just heard from one of our customers that they're willing to do a case study, so we need to get it scheduled. Upon reviewing our website content calendar, looks like August 14th would be a good target publish date. To find my case study template within the calendar, I open the unscheduled content panel on the right and click the parked tab, and here's my template. Now a single click on the case study template opens a preview and you'll see the duplicate icon in the top right. Clicking it opens a simple form where you can update the title, the content item status, and give it a deadline. Clicking duplicate triggers Divi's automation, which plots the case study's production schedule on the calendar and notifies my team of their new assignments. And our original template stays in the parking lot for next time. Setting up templates like this can help you save a lot of time, especially if you have unique types of content that you produce regularly. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe to get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and happy divvying!